Hey, Fiction Freaks. Um, this is Gina with YA Fiction Freaks, and we, I actually got a snow day today because some of the snow and drifts are, like, up to your hip where we live. Uh, my daughter's swing set is about half buried, so, um, I got to stay home today, and that made me be able to read a whole book. I read in about, read it in about four or five hours. And here it is. It's called Repossessed. Sorry about the glare. It's a library book, so it has the plastic on it. I got this book um, actually about a year ago from the library, and I didn't get a chance to read it. The cover, of course, is what drew me to it. And when you read the inside, it actually um, really sounds interesting. I ended up of course, I haven't had the book for a year. I ended up taking it back to the library. I didn't have a chance to read it that time. So I ended up seeing it again the other day, and I thought, oh, there's that book. I'm going to read it. So I read it today. It's, like I said, it's pretty thin. The words, I mean, it's a short book. It's not very, very tall, so it's real easy to read. The chapters are really cool. There's a devil tale around each chapter number, so that's really cool. And, um... I'm going to read you the inside. It says, Don't call me a demon. I prefer the term fallen angel. Everybody deserves a vacation, right? Especially if you have a pointless job like tormenting the damned. So who could blame me for blowing off my duties and taking a small unauthorized break? Besides, I've always wanted to see what physical existence is like. That's why I borrowed... The slightly used body of a slacker teen. Believe me, he wasn't going to be using it anymore anyway. I have never understood why humans do the things they do, like sin. If it's so terrible, why do they keep doing it? I'm going to have a lot of fun finding out. So, it's a really cute story. I actually would give this book a four, maybe even a four and a half. Actually, I would even say as, as far as... Um, you wanting to read it and not wanting to put it down, I'd say it's probably a five for me. Um, but because it's just, there's a, not a lot to the story. It's a smaller story. Um, you know, you pretty much just get to know the main character. Um, hit the body that he takes overtakes is sh his name's Sean. And actually what he does is, and this tells in the very beginning, the first sentence, if you go to our Facebook page, um, this is the fe featured book of the day, and you'll see this sentence on our profile, and it says, first thing I did was I stole a body, and that's what it actually says on the back of the book there, but, and it tells you right away, he goes into this teenager's body that the, Sean is actually talking to, um, his friends, and he steps off the edge of a curve, and he's going to get hit by a truck, so this uh, fallen angel, which he prefers to be called, is uh, dives into his body, and so he gets to see what physical existence is like, and it's really kind of a cute story because it's him opening his eyes and um, for the first time in a physical body and feeling things and seeing things. And the only thing is, it does have some mature themes in it because he's wanting to experience everything. And I mean, everything. <laughs> um, not like drugs and drinking and that kind of stuff, but you know what I mean. Mature stuff. So it's not really for young, like tweenies and 12, 13 year olds, but it's for like mid to older teens. Um, it was... Um, it, it doesn't get graphic at all or anything like that, and it's really cute, and it de definitely draws you um, to want to know what happens to this demon. He's afraid he's going to get in trouble by the powers that be, and um, so it's pretty cool, and he's talking about the creator and how come he never answers him, and uh, it's, it's really cute. I, I recommend it, and definitely for boys, because it's about a teenage, I think he's... I don't know if it ever says how old he is. I would say he's probably 15, 16 years old, um, 17 maybe. I'm not really sure, but um, I don't know that it says, but it's a really cute story. I'm so glad I read it. I love it. So I recommend that, especially for you teenage boys out there. Um, I'm going to see if Spence wants to read it. Um, this one is called uh, Night Road by A.M. Jennings Jenkins um, by the same author. 
and then it says don't call them vampires and I thought the cover was cool on it too if I can show you without the glare there but um, this is by the same author and it's a sh it's a real short kind of book again it's a little thicker though but I thought I could actually um, read it fairly quickly too so I picked it up too because I thought well if I like repossessed then I'm gonna go ahead and get it um, so I think I'm gonna start on that because I might be getting another snow day tomorrow so um, I, I still am reading, um, does it, where is it, Once Dead, Twice Shy. Still reading that, but it's not really drawing me in r quickly. So I thought I would just read a couple of these smaller books um, so that I could get reviews up and I can get them done um, in a day or two where I don't have to be waiting on getting them read because I have to go to work. So also, I wanted to tell you guys real quick about a book it's A Year in Betty's Kitchen by Betty Givan. I'm not sure how she says her last name. And there's Betty. And I found this this um, lady on YouTube. Um, on my personal YouTube channel, I view a lot of cooking, um, different channels, how to cook and stuff like that, and, and makeup. Uh, videos and I do some other stuff on my personal channel and um, this lady I've been viewing her videos for quite a while I've made some of her recipes I was so excited to know that she made a book um, and there's no pictures or anything it's just her recipes they're just like you know folded and then the recipes oh geez the lighting is just terrible on that but um it's a real shiny book, so I'm getting a lot of glare. But I love how she named it A Year in Betty's Kitchen. And that's her channel. Her channel is called Betty's Kitchen. And you should check her out if you like to watch cooking videos or Food Network. or. But she does a lot of simpler stuff. and Or she actually makes it simple for you so you can um, make it. I actually made her chicken pot pie. And, ooh, it was yummy. Um, so... It's about that thick. But I was so excited that she she put every recipe that she did in 2009 into a little cookbook. And you can go on lulu.com and look up Betty's Kitchen and buy the book. And so I did because I wanted to support her. I love her recipes. And I thought it was so cool to have them all in a book. So if you guys are interested in cooking videos, um, check out Betty's Kitchen channel because it's I love it. So again, the review was mainly on... Repossessed by A.M. Jenkins. So I definitely recommend this for y'all to go out and get. It's a quick read. And that's it. That's all I have for you guys today. So happy reading.